All right. Welcome, everybody. Nice to see all your beautiful faces. Hope you're having a fabulous Friday. Thank you for joining me on this 60 minute full body workout. Uh, today, we have a lot to cover in this full body workout. Uh, before we start, though, I want to welcome Joe. Joe is uh, going to take us through this workout. She's uh, going to be here uh, doing the moves with you. So if you need any guidance with the moves, especially if you're watching a recording of this, I would take the time to watch her at the beginning as I explain the movement so that you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, other than that, you're gonna just need dumbbells and thigh bands for today's workout. And then we're ready to rock and roll. We're gonna have a great, great workout today. Like I said, a big workout. So pace yourself, all right? So we're gonna get started with a warm up. I want everyone to start with some knee hugs. So Joe's gonna bring up her knee one at a time and give herself a nice big hug. And we're gonna rock and roll. We're already starting. Per usual, we have our warm up series. Then we have a little glute activation. We go into a pre fatigue and then we go into our workout. So we have quite a bit to do today. All right. And then, of course, we have our finisher, which I'm super excited about. And I, jo I know Joe is as well. All right, 10 more seconds here. Just bring that knee up. Give yourself a nice big hug, big exhale as you bring that knee in. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, now Joe's going to go into a squat heel raise. So she drops down in that squat, hips drop about parallel to her knees, and then she comes up and comes up onto her toes. I want you to come up onto as much of your toes as possible. So squat down, come up all the way up onto your tippy toes. Really flex those calves, connect with the balls of your feet. So there's a lot in this workout today. There will be moments where we're doing a lot of cardio, especially in our finisher. There will be moments that we're just focusing on strength. With whatever we're doing, I really want you to make sure that you're making that mind-body connection today, right? Really connect with your muscles. Three, two, and one. Good. Now Joe's going to go into a tabletop position, and we're going to do a bird dog crunch. So right there, she's going to bring her elbow to her knee, place the hand down, and then alternate. So she connects elbow to knee, and then alternates. Good. Nice work, Jess. That's it. Put it down, and then repeat on the other side. So you take your time with this. This is a great core activator, great way to activate the glutes as well. Nice, Christina, good job, Timia. Yeah. Connect. Nice, Joe, beautiful. 15 more seconds here in that tabletop position. Really connecting strong through that straight arm. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now we're going to stay in that tabletop position. We're going to do what's called the tabletop twist. So Joe's going to open up her left hand all the way to the sky. Really follow it with her eyes and then open up those hips a little bit. You're going to feel this in your lower back, in your shoulders. Stay grounded through that hand on the ground and make a nice long straight line all the way up towards the sky. Beautiful. When you do that, when you rotate, make sure that you pull your belly button in. Squeezing your glutes, you're going to feel that in your glutes as well. Nice work. Good way to warm up the shoulder girdle. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to transition. Joe's going to lay down on her back. Her knees are bent on this one. We're doing a full sit up. Arms go above your head. And then bring your chest all the way to your thighs. Roll down slowly onto your spine. Inhale, exhale as you come all the way up. So you inhale on the way down slowly. Exhale as you bring your chest towards your thighs. And the reason being you want to exhale when you come up is because you want to get all the air out of your lungs and really force the abs to work. Contract those abs and make them work. Again, connecting mind to body. You utilize your breath a lot for this. So whenever you feel a little bit disjointed, maybe you're not connecting, focus on your breath, and that will typically connect you with your body. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to stay on the ground. I want everyone to grab their bands. We're going to put those bands on over the thighs. 
So Joe's using a heavy bench. We're gonna bring it up above her thighs. And we're gonna lay down. We're gonna do a single leg glute bridge. All right, so this single leg glute bridge, you're gonna play around with your foot positioning. Some people like to put their foot a little bit further out. Some people bring it a little closer to their butt. Find something that works for you. Remember, we're all individuals and everybody's anatomy is different. So, single leg glute bridge, we're gonna bring that right knee up, pushing through that left heel and pushing strong, squeezing in the glutes. Okay, let's go ahead and hit it. 30 seconds here on each side. You're gonna feel this if you're doing it right. Now, if you note here, some people like to lift their toes and really push through the heels. Some people just like to stay flat and you push through the midfoot. Again, whatever you can do to feel it in the glutes most. So you might have to play around a few different times and find out what works for you. Squeeze in those glutes, nice work, Joe. Three, two, and one. Switch legs, go straight into the other side. Our glute activation is extremely important, especially with these full body workouts because we utilize our glutes for everything we do, especially in these workouts. 15 seconds, single leg glute bridge. Nice work, Joe. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, both knees on the ground. We're gonna do a glute bridge, but we're gonna have an abduction. So we're gonna do three of these. You're gonna go up and then push out three times. One, two, three, and then lower the hips again. Repeat. Every time you bring those hips up, you're pushing those knees out three times. Three good pushes, three good squeezes. There you go, nice work, Jess. Again, find the position that works for you where you really feel it in the glutes. Nice work, Timia, good job pushing those knees out. And as you push those knees out, it's perfectly fine to come to the outside of the foot. Okay, your foot doesn't stay completely flat, especially when you're pushing those knees out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, let's turn over back into our tabletop position. Last one for our glute activation. We're gonna do a heel kick. So Joe is pulsing that knee up. You'll notice that that knee stays bent 90 degrees and all she's doing is leading from her heel, pushing up towards the ceiling. We're gonna do 30 seconds per side. I want everyone to start on their right leg. Let's go ahead and do it together. Three, two, one, go. Pushing that right heel up, small movements. You're gonna feel that resistance working against you. Make sure your navel is pulled in. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Those hands should be below your shoulders. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch, other side. There you go, good job. Tucking that toe in, you're flexing that, that foot, you're not pointing it. So you're leading from that heel. Keep that knee bent 90 degrees. Nice work, Christina. 12 seconds on this side, and then we're gonna take that bend off. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, let's go ahead and stand up, take off the band. We're gonna get into what's called the pre-fatigue. For those of you that have been with, with me for a while and done my classes for a while, this used to be called just the cardio section, but um, I've kind of progressed and uh, you know adopted some different things in the way that I train. So I'm now calling this pre-fatigue. We're not operating at 100% yet, so this is an extension of our warm-up. So I want you to approach this when you look at the RPE scale, RPE being rate of perceived exertion, starting at zero to 10. Zero meaning you're, it's a brisk walk through the park. 10, you're gonna die. All right, I want you to operate anywhere from six to seven on these, okay? On this pre-fatigue is six to seven. So you're not going full out. We're holding back a little bit, all right? So we're gonna get started with our lateral jump and four high knees. So Joe's gonna give me a squat jump to the right, and then she's gonna give me four high knees. One, two, three, four, squat jump to the left, and four high knees. That is the movement. If you need to modify, you can just give me a squat in place. So squat, and then just march in place. One two, 
three, and four if you need to modify or you're working through an injury. All right, that's movement number one. Movement number two, we're doing cross-body mountain climbers. So bring the right knee to the left elbow, left knee to right elbow, up, across the body, really engaging the abs. All right, that's movement number two. And then we stay in that plank position because we're gonna go a plank walk. So down to your form and then back up to your hands, back to your form, up to your hands. Try to alternate which hand you come up with each time. All right, we're gonna do 30 seconds of each move. We got two rounds. We're gonna get started, no breaks, in three, two, one, let's go. Lateral jump with those high knees. Nice, good work. So remember, you're pushing yourself, but we're not killing ourselves. We save that for later, we save that for our finisher. You don't wanna to start too hot out the gate because then you exhaust yourself, you don't have enough energy. For the workout, you just want to, like I said, it's an extension of the warm-up. Nice work, Joe. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Cross-body mountain climbers down to the ground. Your hands are below your shoulders, and you're bringing those knees up across the body. Shemia, keep your hips down a little bit. You want a flat back. There you go, good job. Strong through that core, shifting a little bit of weight into the hands. So don't push back into those heels, keep the weight over your shoulders. Three, two, and plank walk. Go straight into it. Those shoulders are fatigued, you're dropping straight down to your forearms and then walking those hands up one at a time. So with this movement, you wanna keep good core control. You don't want your hips moving all over the place. Imagine you have a plate of food on your back. You are doing everything you can not to have that food spill. Nice work, Joe. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, let's go. Lateral jump with those high knees. Remember, the ratio is four to one. So you give me four high knees for every one jump. Good job, nice work. Landing soft, good job. Push off with both legs. Do not favor your strong side, Jess. Make sure you're pushing off with both legs. There you go, nice work, Christina. Good job, Timia. Nice work, ladies. Let's go 10 more seconds. There you go, pick up those knees, move those hands. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, let's go, cross body mountain climbers. Nice, good job. Keep that pace. Remember, you're operating in six to seven on in terms of intensity. There you go. Nice work, Kristen. Allie looking good. Bring those knees up. Ten more seconds, everybody. Keep that booty down, Christina. Five, four, three, two, plank walk. Don't put those knees down. Go straight into it. Nice work, Allie. Good job, Kristen. Drop to your forearms, come back up to your hands. Really keeping that core braced and tight. 15 seconds. 10 seconds left. Breathe through it. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. All right, take a breath. You can drink some water, towel off. You should be warmed up. That is our full warm up, okay? For an hour long workout, we just did a 15 minute warm up, all right? That is how long your warm up should be when you're working out on your own. Now you're ready. Now you're ready to rock and roll. Your body should be loose. Your joints should be lubricated. Your heart rate should be slightly elevated and your body temperature should be warmed up and ready to go. So we're gonna get started with our first circuit. We have three moves in this one. We're gonna start with a squat alternating press. So Joe's gonna start with a weight that feels right for her. For those of you that need a little bit more guidance, she's using eight pound dumbbells, all right? Find something that works for you. You might have to go to fives or even less than that, or maybe you start off a little heavier and go to tens or twelves. So we're gonna do a squat, and then you're gonna press one arm up, 
and then squat back down and give me an alternating press. So every time you stand up, you're giving me an alternating press. Keep those elbows tight. You find a stance that's comfortable for you. You might have to go a little bit wider. You might, you might need to stay a little bit narrower. Whatever works for you. Let's go ahead and do it in three, two, and go. Squat and press on one arm. There you go. Good. Nice work, Christina. Good job, Jess. That's perfect. Squats are looking good. You want to push those knees out a little bit. Good job, Joe. Excellent. And Joe drops to where her thighs are parallel to the ground, and that's where you want to go to at the very least when you do your squats. You can go a little bit lower if you have the mobility or range of motion. There we go. Good job. Ten more seconds to complete this first move. Three. Two and one. Good job. All right, now we're going to do a bent over supine row. Supine means your palms are facing up. So Joe's going with her five pounders. We're going to go slow on this one because I really want you to focus on that contraction and squeezing your back. So Joe is hinged at the hips and she's going to pull those dumbbells up, hold one, two, and then lower. Again, pull, really squeezing in her mid back and lower. Give me a profile shot so they can see. So she's pulling those elbows up past her rib cage and then squeezing in between her in between her lats, okay? In her back, in between her scapula. Let's so go ahead and do it. So everyone hinge at the hips, your palms are facing up and let's pull, squeeze. Really focus on that contraction and squeeze in between your shoulder blades. Joe is starting off light with this movement. You can probably challenge yourself, go to 10s, 15s, even 20s because we're not doing a lot of repetitions because we're slowing it down, so you probably can go a little heavier. 20 more seconds. Good job, Allie. Nice work. Pull and squeeze. Remember, don't be afraid to go heavy. It's not going to make you bulky. There's a huge myth, a huge lie in the fitness industry. 10 seconds. Nice work, Joe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, now we're going to go down to the ground. Put the weights down. We're going to do one of my favorite moves, one of Joe's favorite moves. We're doing a star plank. So on her right side, there's a few ways to do this. She's going to go feet stacked. Left leg goes up with her left arm in the air. Go ahead and bring it down. So now there's another way to do this if that's too challenging for you. You can give me a staggered stance first. So staggered stance first, one foot in front of the other, lift the leg up right there and start from that position. Now, if that's too difficult, you can go into a kickstand right there and give yourself a lower kickstand and still lifting that left leg up, all right? So find a form that works for you. We're gonna go 30 seconds per side. This is really gonna challenge you. Let's go ahead and hit it in three, two, and one, go. So star plank, remember that top arm is in line. So her elbow is in line with her shoulder, in line with her left shoulder, in line with her elbow and wrist. There is a straight line going from that, that elbow on the ground. Good job, nice work. 12 more seconds, hold it strong. Lift those hips up a little bit higher, Jess. There we go, five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, switch it over to the other side, let's go. On your left side, and hit it. 30 seconds. For those of you that are here live, I will call you out if I see that your hips are dropping too low. Really pull in your abs, lift a little higher. Good job, Timmy, that's excellent. Kristen, lift that left leg a little higher for me. Left leg, there we go, good job. Christina, lift that left leg a little higher. There we go, just like that, perfect. Hold it, strong, lift those hips. Five more seconds, four. A little higher, Joe. Three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. All right, come up, back into the squat with the alternating press. Let's go ahead and hit it. Grab your weights. Remember, don't be afraid to go heavy. So Joe's gonna stick with her eights. Let's go ahead and drop it down and hit it. 45 seconds here, squat, alternating press. There we go, nice work, Christina. Nice, Timia. So most of my clients, when they do this, will operate anywhere with, you know, maybe 10, 15. Some of them use 20. I've had a few dabble with 25s and 30s. 
Nice, good job. Inhale on the way down, brace that core, and then exhale as you stand up. And we go. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds, and then we're gonna go into that supine bent over row in three, two, and one. Good, you can keep those same weights or transition to something that's appropriate, and let's go. Pull up, remember the key point on this one is that you're squeezing in between those shoulder blades every time you pull those elbows up. Good, squeeze, nice work, Christina. Flat back, get that, get the, get that booty out a little bit more. Good, Ali, drop your chest a little bit more for me, Ali. There we go. 20 more seconds, good job, Kristen. So with this supine row, you hit a little bit more biceps as well. So you hit your back and your biceps with this supine grip. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good, let's go into our star plank. I want everyone starting on their left side first. So starting your left uh, forearm. Left foot is on the ground and let's go. Breathe. I want you to point that right foot, that right foot, I want you to point it. Squeezing your glutes, lift your hips up another inch. There you go, Timmy, a good job. Push strong through that left elbow. 10 more seconds. A little higher with that right foot, Kristen. Three, two, and time. Good job, nice work, everyone. Switch sides, now we're on our right side and go 30 seconds here that left arm is straight up towards the ceiling your fingers are spread nice and wide really pointing through that index finger strong pulling your your abs good job just give me another inch up with those hips push there we go use those glutes use your inner thighs christina a little bit more point that left foot Three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. Stand up, no breaks. We go one more time. Squat, alternating press. Pick a weight that's appropriate and let's go. We got 45 seconds here. We're moving quick. We got a lot to do in this workout still. Nice work, Christina. Big exhale, use, especially when you start getting into those heavier weights. Use the power from your lower body to press that arm up. Good job, nice, Christina. Good job, Ali. Kristen looking good. Timmy, a great work. 15 seconds, nice work, go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, bent over supine row and pull and squeeze in between those shoulder blades. Let's go. Using those biceps as well. There you go, Jess, good job. Jess, make sure you have a flat back. There should be no rounding in that spine. Good job, nice work, Timia. Nice, let's go, five. Sorry, 20 more seconds, not five. Lost my mind there for a second. 15 seconds. Let's go. Relax that jaw, keep your chin down a little bit. Neutral through that spine. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, star plank, I want you to start on your right side this time. So we're gonna start on our right elbow, that left leg goes up, left arm goes in the air. There we go. Now, when you have a good amount of control, I'm gonna challenge you a little bit. I'm gonna give you a little curveball here. I want you to lower that left leg and then raise it towards the ground. I mean, raise, sorry, lower that left leg, tap the heel, and then raise it up again. So you give me a little abduction, a little inner thigh work. Lower it and raise it. Five more seconds, just like that. Four, keep holding. Three, two, and one. Good job, nice work. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So a little inner thigh action, hold it up, 
And then when you feel comfortable, start lowering that top leg, that right leg to the ground, and then raise it. Keep those hips up though. There we go, nice job. Good control, Kristen, 15 seconds. A little bit higher with your hips, Jess. Give me another inch, there we go, good job. Really push strong, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, everybody, take a breather, you've earned it. We're done with block one, so take a break. You can drink some water, towel off, say a little prayer, whatever you need to do. We're gonna go into our second round. This is more of a flow, uh, I'm all right, with this, with this round. So um, we're gonna do alternating curtsy uh, alternating curtsy lunges with this first movement. So Joe's gonna grab her dumbbells. She's gonna rack them up at the shoulders. She's keeping those elbows tight. And we're gonna do alternating curtsy from side to side. So one and curtsy to the left, two. Perfect, very simple on this first one. I will be adding elements to this one as we progress to the second and third round. So stay tuned for that. For this first round though, very basic, very simple, alternating curtsy lunge. Let's go. Nice, good job, Joe. Really dropping that back knee. That front foot stays flat. And that shin stays perpendicular to the ground. So you're not pushing that knee over the toe and you're not bringing it behind the heel. Nice, good work, Joe. Alternating side to side. There we go, good job, Christina. Really sink down low. You're gonna feel this in that front leg, so drop, exactly. Good, drop a little lower, Allie. You want to get that front thigh pr uh, parallel to the ground. There you go, like that. That's where you really feel it. That's where you're working. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, now we're going to do another version of a bent over row. This one with a traditional grip. You're going to grab your band and you're gonna put it over your feet. So now Joe's gonna have a flat back here, make sure her knees are bent, and she's gonna pull that band up towards her bottom of her, uh, towards her sternum, bottom of her breastplate. So she's pulling that band up and squeezing again in between her shoulder blades. Now, if you're not doing this with a band, you can do this with dumbbells as well, but I'm, I'm prescribing bands here. So let's go ahead and do it. 45 seconds, row. Get a good grip on that band, that's it right there. Perfect, good job, Christina. The reason I want you using a band is because the band, there is resistance throughout the entire movement. With dumbbells, there is a point at the bottom where you're not really doing any work. Here, you're constantly getting that tension from the band. So it creates a dynamic resistance that is different from dumbbells. 20 more seconds, everybody. Good job, Joe, nice work. You're gonna feel this a little different than using traditional dumbbells. Nice, good job, Timia. Seven seconds, and then we're grabbing our dumbbells again. Three, two, and time. Good job, All right, take the band off. We're gonna go with something a little lighter here, so I recommend you starting with something like five pounders, maybe three, and then see how you feel after this first round. We're gonna do alternating uppercuts. So we're gonna stand with our feet wide, our palms up, and then we're just gonna twist a little bit and we're gonna give ourselves a little uppercut side to side, okay? Side to side. Let's start with our weights in our hands. Let's go, three, two, and one. Now the reason I say start off with a little bit lighter weight is just because I want you to get comfortable with the movement. But again, if you find after this first round that it's too easy, you can always scale up. Most of my clients use 10 pounders by the end of the circuits. 10, 12, even 15 for some. Nice work, 10 more seconds, keep it going, push up. There we go, nice work. Working the front delts. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, now we're gonna go down to the ground in a high plank position. We're gonna do a plank to pike. So Joe's gonna lift those hips up in a pike, and then slowly, three, two, one, come down to a plank, push up strong through a pike, three, two, one, back down. Okay, so it's a strong pike with power, and then you slowly return back to your plank where your shoulders are over your hands, okay? Your feet and your hands stay, stay planted, they do not move. Let's go ahead and do it, everyone together, three, two, and go. 
push through those palms, hike, and then return to plank slowly. So it's a three, two, one count on the way back down to your plank. There you go, good job. Use that core, use your hips. Nice work, Joe. Push up strong through those hands and then slowly return to plank. There we go, nice work, Jess. 10 more seconds, almost there. Good job, push up, Kristen, nice. And then slowly lower, really pulling in that rib cage. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. All right, grab your weights. We're gonna do that alternating curtsy again. Stay tuned for my curveball at the end. So let's go ahead and hit it, curtsy, side to side, alternating, three, two, one, let's go. Good job, nice job. Good job, Timia. There we go, good job. 20 seconds in, you got about 25 seconds left. Nice, good job, Christina. Jess looking good. All right, now pulse it out. Hold it down in a regular squat and pulse it out at the bottom. Right there, just pulsing it for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go straight into squat jumps with the weights. Okay, don't lose those weights. Keep them. Five, four, three, two, and go. Squat jumps, keep them there, go. Small little hops. You don't need to get a lot of air. Small little hops, power through those legs. Let's go, five, four, Three, two, and time. Good job. All right, band rows. Get those bands, put them on your feet. Right there, beautiful. Overhand grip, your back is flat, and you're pulling up, pulling those elbows past your rib cage. Good, keep your chin down, Christina. You want a neutral chin, neutral spine, sorry. If you look up, you create tension in your upper, uh, upper spine. So you always wanna keep your chin down and just have a flat back, flat spine. Nice, Timia, good job. Remember, squeeze at the top of that movement. Nice work, Joe, cool, beautiful. 15 seconds. All right, for the last 10, go. Pull a little bit faster, a little bit faster tempo. Pick up the speed, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, All right? Uppercut straight into those uppercuts. So you can go heavier if you feel like going heavier. If you felt like the first round was too easy, let's go. Uppercut, a little bit of a pivot, a little bit of a twist using those hips, pushing those dumbbells up towards the sky. Don't swing, Christina, I want you using your muscles. So I don't want you using momentum. Use your shoulders, your biceps, your triceps, and your abs. Nice, Ali, that's perfect, good job. Nice work, almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, All right? Plank to pike. Let's go. So back to that high plank position, strong pike. And then push back down into that plank slowly. So it's a three count on the way down. And really, really engaging that core, pulling in your belly button. Nice, good job, ladies. There we go, nice work. Keep going, strong through that pike. All right, now for 10 seconds, plank walk. Return to your plank. 
and then just like we did in our pre-fatigue, we're revisiting that plank walk. So go back down to your forearms and then up to your hands. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. Good job. Nice work, everybody. All right. Take a moment. We're going to do that again. Alternating curtsies. As you notice, I threw a few curveballs in each one of those rounds. So we're going to continue that just because I like to keep you on your toes. So let's go ahead and rack those weights. And we are in it. Alternating curtsy, dropping that back knee. And you're stepping at an angle. So when you step back into that curtsy, you're at a slight angle. So it's not a reverse lunge. You're not going straight back. There's internal and external rotation with your uh, happening with your femur there, with your thighs. Nice, good job everybody. 15 more seconds, just like that. All right, for 10 seconds, let's go swap pulse. Lower those hips and pulse it out for 10 seconds. Four, three, two. Now squat jump with the weight. Let's go. You can have those weights at the side of your hips. If it's too much at the shoulders, but I want you moving with those dumbbells. Nice. Let's go. Seven seconds. Now drop the weights and give me squat jumps with no weights. Just body weight. Let's go. Just body weight up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7. Last three, two, and one. Beautiful work, everybody. Good job. All right, band rows. Grab your band, attach them to the feet. Give your legs a break. Now we hit the upper body. Let's go 45 seconds. Strong pull. Your back is flat. Your feet are, are firm on the ground. They're grounded. There you go. Just like that, Ali. Good job. Navel pulled in. Strong core. You were exhaling when you pull those dumb when you pull that band up towards your sternum. Nice, Joe. Good. Make sure you have that exactly. There you go. Good job. Pull those shoulders down and back. Twenty more seconds. Squeeze in between your shoulder blades, squeeze in those back muscles. All right, for the last 10, a little bit faster now. Pick up the tempo, pick up the tempo. A little bit faster. Five, four, three, two, and time. Good job, you should feel that in your biceps as well, in your arms. All right, let's go into those uppercuts. Joe's gonna grab her eight pounders and then alternate here, let's go. Press that dumbbell towards the sky with a little bit of rotation in the hips. Nice, ladies, good job, Kristen. There we go, bend those knees a little bit for me, Joe. You wanna have an athletic stance on this one. Let's go, 10 more seconds, just like this. Good. Now keep those weights. Let's go into a standing shoulder press. Your palms are facing forward. Burn it out for 15 seconds here. Good. Keep those palms facing forward strong. Keep those shoulders down. You're pressing through your elbows. Let's go five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work, everybody. Good job. Put those down. Plank to pike. Remember, three counts on that return when you come back down from that pike. Good job, there you go, Joe. Nice work, push up and then come back down, controlled. So when you're coming back down into that plank, you're really pulling in your belly button, strong through that core. And you're also gonna squeeze in your inner thighs, squeeze your thighs together, and that's gonna activate your lower abs. You're gonna feel it a little bit differently as, as well. There you go, Joe, nice job. Plank to pike.
Five more seconds. Come on, let's keep it going, Kristen. Nice work. Yes, three, two, now plank walk, plank walk. Drop to your forearms and plank walk for 10 seconds. Up and down, there we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Good job. Take a breather, Joe. Nice work, everybody. Time to towel off, drink some water. As usual, take a little break here. Uh, you get a little extended recovery. Uh, we go through those three circuits with very minimal rest. Uh, I incorporate a movement in there that's always kind of your active recovery. In this round, that was your plank to pike, which by the end doesn't even feel like a recovery. Um, all right, so we're gonna go into our third block of work. Okay, our third block of work, this is our last one before we go into our finisher today. So we're gonna start with a standing high pull. Now I'm giving you two options to start with this one. You can either do this with a band or with dumbbells. I prefer I prefer uh, dumbbells with this one. So Joe's gonna start with five pound dumbbells. She's gonna hold them out here. Now you're gonna feel this in your shoulders and we're gonna do a high pull alternating. Pull back, strong, really squeezing in those upper back and upper shoulder muscles in your upper back, all right? So squeeze every time you pull back. All right, your arms are staying straight. We're here for 30 seconds, all right? 30 seconds on this first round. So, shoulders down, arms straight out, let's go. Pull back, one arm at a time, really squeezing in those upper back muscles. Nice, good job. Firm, strong through your hips. Find a stance that gives you nice, uh, a, a nice solid foundation. Beautiful, nice work everybody. 10 seconds, nine. Three, two, and one, good. Now Joe's gonna go wide with her stance. We're gonna drop down into a sumo stance, bicep curl. So Joe's gonna drop down, hold it in that sumo, and give me a bicep curl at the bottom. And we're here for 30 seconds. So I want everyone up and down, let's go. Keep it down in that sumo. Do not move from that sumo. So your hips stay low. You're gonna feel this in your inner thighs, in your outer thighs, in your glutes. So full extension all the way down and then come up and squeeze in those biceps. Nice work, Joe. Shoulders back, chest up, gaze forward. Nice, Christina. Two and one, rack those weights to the shoulders, alternating reverse lunges here, dropping that back knee. Let's go straight into it. Nice work, good job everybody. Thirty more seconds here. Twenty more seconds, and then we're transitioning quickly, and we're going to do that again with those standing high pulls. So get mentally prepared because we're doing that whole series again. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go back into those high pulls. Your hands are out. You're pulling back one arm at a time. If you're using a band, it's the same exact movement, just utilizing a band. I am prescribing dumbbells for this one. Again, just because it's a different stimulus. Nice, good job. Nice work, everybody. Joe's really feeling this. Even with five pounders, you're gonna get a lot of shoulder activation on this. So that's why you really wanna focus on squeezing your upper back. Let your back assist you and help you in this movement. Three, two, and one. Good job, All right? Sumo bicep curls. Back down, feet go wide, toes turned out. Drop those hips and let's go. Bicep curl. Great, nice job, Ali. Beautiful, all the way down, curl, all the way down, curl. Remember, mind body connection, squeeze with those biceps.
Five more seconds, four. Keep it down, Ali. Let's go. Three, two, one. Rack them to the shoulders. Go straight into your reverse lunges, alternating, dropping that back knee, keeping that front knee behind the toe. Don't let it travel over the toe. Nice, keeping your torso upright. Good job, which is part of the reason why I have you doing this movement with the dumbbells at your shoulders. It forces you to keep your chest up. Nice, Timmy, yeah, good work. Nice work, Joe. Almost there, 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, right? Grab the weights for those high pulls or utilize your band. Let's go ahead and hit it. Arms straight out, 30 seconds here, and we're alternating with, that, with those pulls. Squeeze in your upper back. One arm is completely straight. So when you're pulling back with the other arm, really push the other arm forward. Use your whole body. There we go. Good job. Breathe. Nice work, Joe. Four. Good. Almost there. Eight seconds. Two and one. Good job. Drop it down into that sumo. Joe's going with eight pounders. You might be comfortable with 10, 12, or 15. Remember to challenge yourself. Let's go. Nice, good job. Beautiful, nice work, Timia. There we go. Feel it. Drop those hips a little bit lower, Kristen. A little bit lower. Just go maybe a little bit wider with your feet, and then go a little bit lower. There we go. That's it. Five, four. Three, two, one, rack them and alternating reverse lunge. Let's go. Straight into it. Drop. Good. Nice work. Feel that front thigh doing a lot of the work. So if you're stepping back with your right leg, your left leg is really firing off, taking a lot of the workload. So are your glutes. Let's not forget about those guys. There we go, nice work, Kristen. Everyone's looking great. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, everybody put the weights down. So we are in our home stretch. That's it, we've completed all three blocks. We went through our warm up. Now we are going into our finisher. Our finisher is one of my favorite modalities called an AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the three moves. I'm gonna have Joe demonstrate the three movements that we have uh, in today's workout. Uh, they are gonna stay consistent throughout. So we have five burpees, we have 10 push-ups, and then we have 20 Russian twists. That's five burpees, 10 push-ups, 20 Russian twists. So the burpees are gonna be a full body burpee, meaning you're gonna go all the way down to the ground, chest to floor, pop up, and then jump above. So you're giving me that jump, Joe. We are, we are doing, we're doing that full burpee. She thought she was gonna get away with it. Full burpee with a jump. That's it right there, perfect. Now, the modification, if you need to slow it down, you just walk it down one leg at a time, walk it out one leg at a time, lower your body, walk it up one leg at a time, omit the jump, and just go hands to the sky. And that's it, that is the modification if you need to modify it. That's movement number one. Movement number two, we're gonna do this off our knees or on our knees. I'm going to recommend that you find something that's sustainable. So if you can do it with uh, on your knees for the entire workout uh, for this finisher, then stay on your knees. So push-ups are hands below the shoulders, and then you're just dropping your chest all the way down. We're doing 10 of these, all right? On your knees or off your knees, find the form that works for you. And then our final one is Russian twist with a light dumbbell. So I want you to grab eight pounder for Joe. She's gonna hold that dumbbell with her feet off the ground and 20 Russian twists. 
20 means every time she rotates, it's one repetition. So one, two, three, four, and you go to 20. All right, the purpose of this is you find a pace that works for you, but I want you to push yourself. Unlike our pre-fatigue round, we're not operating in six to seven. I want you operating in eight or nine, all right? Seven, eight, or nine, that is where we're living, all right? Now, the last component of this is the time. How long are we going for? Are we doing three minutes standing? Are we doing four minutes? We're not doing four minutes. We're not doing five minutes. We're not doing six minutes. We're doing seven minutes. That's right, seven minutes here, all right? It's gonna suck, I know, I see the faces, but I'm sorry, we have to do it. All right, it's Friday. So, let's get started. I've done enough talking, that's enough break. You should be ready, fired up to go. Let's go in three, two, one, seven minutes. Let's go, five burpees, 10 push-ups, and 20 Russian twists. And I want you to consistently push yourself. Stay in that seven, eight, or nine range on the RPE scale. Then you go to your push-ups, Ali. There you go, you go to your push-ups. You do these on your knees or off your knees. Now, Joe and I talked about this beforehand how she always starts off really hot and she gives it 100%. And then she starts to fade a little bit. So remember, consistency is key and that's true for everything we do in life. But when we're doing these AMRAPs, find a pace that you can hold consistent throughout. There we go. Nice work, let's go. Keep it going, nice work. So on those Russian twists, you can have your feet on the ground or your feet off the ground. I don't care which one you choose, but I do want consistency throughout. All right, so if you're choosing to keep your feet off the ground, then I want your feet off the ground for every single round. Beautiful, ladies. Nice work, Joe. Beautiful push-ups. We got burpees, we got push-ups, we got Russian twists. Is it Christmas already? It feels like Christmas. This is such a gift. Nice work, everybody. Good job, Christina. Keep it going. There we go. Nice, Timia. Twist. Exhale. Focus on your breath. Look at that. Two minutes already went by. Two minutes already went by. We got five more minutes, and then we're done. I'm sure there was a moment in today's workout where you were like, oh, this is kind of easy. This is kind of cool. I, I got this. Danny hasn't lost his mind. But then we get to the finisher, and you're like, oh, there's the guy I know. Nice, Joe, come on. Good job, keep that head up when you're doing your push-ups. Remember, push-ups are chest and belly button to the ground at the same time. You are not leading from your head. So pick up your head a little bit on those push-ups, Timia. Beautiful, nice, Jess. Yes, good work, everybody. You're three minutes in, almost halfway there. Make sure you're keeping track of how many rounds you've completed. And the beautiful thing about these finishers is that you can literally throw them in at any workout. If you've done a workout and you're like, you know what, I really like that finisher I did with Danny. On, on Friday, I'm gonna do that on Monday, and you do it on Monday after your workout. Or let's say you go for a run, and you're like, you know, I have a little bit more juice in me. I wanna do a little bit more. You do the seven minute AMRAP. Nice, Joe, good job. Strong through your core. Focus on your breath, connect with your body. There you go, Christina. Nice twist. Kristen, looking good. Let's go, Kristen. Kristen is efficient.
strong through that core, especially on those Russian twists. Do not let your belly go soft. You want to pull in your abs, brace your core, make sure that you're engaging. Because otherwise you will put stress on your lower back and we don't want that. Beautiful ladies, nice work, Ali. Just killing it, nice job. Look at that, we got two minutes left. Two minutes, that's it. It's 120 seconds. You got this. Nice, Joe. Five burpees, 10 push-ups, 20 Russian twists. Something so simple yet so challenging. There you go, Timmy. Yes, great form on those push-ups, Jess. Look at you. Come so far. Remember when we first started. Look how far you've come. You're doing these finishers. And Christina, you, you're, you're convincing me that you love burpees. You do them so well. Let's go last minute, everybody. 60 seconds. That's it. We're down to our last minute. Try to crank out whatever you can. Yes, Timia. Come on, Timmy. You got this. I see that sweat. You're working, girl. I'm proud of you. Thirty seconds, Ali. Love it, Kristen. Azura, I know you're working. Yes, good job, Joe. Fifteen seconds, almost there. That's it. Home stretch. Five, four, three, two, and time. We are done. Great work. That was a hell of a finisher. I hope you, uh, I hope you felt that. If you didn't, you're superhuman, and we need to chat offline. But I want you to write, for those of you that are here in the class live now, if you can let me know in the chat how many rounds you completed. Um, half, you know, half rounds count if you got through half. That's great work, Azura. Nice job. Six and a half. Kristen, six. Solid six. I love it. Azura also gave me a, uh, a, an emoji, which I don't even know what that would describe. But great work. Timmy is six. Nice work. Christina, six foot hurt my soul. Okay. That definitely <laughs> resonates with me because it hurts so deep. It hurts so good. <laughs> Jess, you forgot to count. Jess, I can't believe you forgot to count. But we'll say you did a solid. It seems like six was a good number. Joe, what'd you get? Oh, wow. Joe got to seven. All right. I know some of you have to run and get onto your lives. But if you can hang out with us for a few minutes, please stay. We're going to stretch. I want everyone to lay down on your back. I want you to bring both knees towards your chest. And I want you to give yourself a nice big hug um, here in our, in our, in our, uh, in our stretching uh, component. So Joe wraps her hands around her shins and roll a little bit left to right just to stretch out those hips, lower back muscles. Good, and I want you to extend that left leg straight up in the air, kick the right leg out onto the ground, and we're gonna stretch that hamstring and really pull it in as much as you can. Give yourself a nice big pull here. Strong through that right leg. Good, now bend that left knee, swing it over to your right side, and really feel, I heard that pop. Joe's, Joe had a little pop in her back. Good job, take a deep breath deep into your belly. Good, and slowly come out of that. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side now. Strong through that left leg, lift that right leg straight up in the air. Stretch that hamstring out, pull it in using your biceps. You can even lift your shoulders off the ground a little bit, bring your chin or your forehead to your knee. 
pull, pull, pull. Yet here we are. And bend that right knee, swing it over to your left side, stretch that lower back out, look over your right shoulder. But there is no time to Take a deep breath deep into your belly. We must count our blessings. And good. Come out of that slowly. I want you to turn over onto your stomach with your knees towards the edge of the mat. Feet together in child's pose. You're going to walk your feet out. I mean, sorry, walk your hands out. Good. We must defend this place and then I want you to the walk both hands to the left and feel a good stretch on your right coming. side. But big booty man. Beautiful. Walk both hands to your right now and feel a good stretch on your left side. Deep, deep, deep breath here. Good. Now walk both hands back to center. And I want you to thread your right arm underneath your left elbow and stretch the back of your shoulders here. Good, and just relax. Relax your forehead on the mat. Or you turn your cheek to the right and rest your right cheek on the mat. Good. Unthread that arm and do the same thing on the opposite side. So thread your left arm underneath your right elbow. Turn your head to the right and rest. Uh, turn your head to the right and rest your left cheek on the mat. Good, come out of that slowly. And I want you to pick up your hips, push up into downward dog and pick those hips up. Stretch, really feel your feet grounded. Bend your right knee, feel your left heel grounded. Bend your left knee and then rock back and forth. Left knee, right knee. Beautiful, good. Now walk both hands back towards your feet. Stay folded in half, drop your head. I want you to hug your elbows. So hug across. There we go. Hug your elbows. Good job. Nice work. Interlock your fingers behind your lower back now. Press your palms together. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Bring those arms up as high as you can. Beautiful. And then release those arms. Drop them by your sides. Shake your head out. Yes. Shake your head out. No. And then slowly start coming up. Your head is the very last thing that comes up. Arms go to the sky. Bring your palms together. Bring your hands to your heart. You are amazing. You are incredible. Thank you, as always, for trusting me to be your coach. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Thank you to Joe for being here. You're a rock star. And Jess uh, wrote, she was having an emotional morning, and she feels a lot better. That is what I live for. Thank you so much, Jess. It means the world to me that you're here. I'm so glad you're feeling better. Everyone have a great weekend and I will see you all next week on Tuesday. Bye everybody.